Hey guys, um, <clears throat> oh my god, oh my, <clears throat> shit, so, this is, I don't even know how I'm still fucking smiling, I've done this video three times and it's not recorded any single time, so, yeah, this is why there's, this is why there's, you know, fucking already shit all on the screen, because I've literally done this video three times, that was a bad intro, let's try again. Hey guys, um, basically, this video is going to be on diet and exercise it's not about exercise why am i doing so bad take three hey guys um this video is gonna be on diet and how you can lose weight really easily and efficiently without any of them bullshit like fad diets like oh this is a sin food you can't eat this this is a good food you can eat as much as this as you want no this method guys is the one method you will use for the rest of your life and to help explain this method, guys, I'm going to use Tom. Tom's a bit under the weather, guys. He's a bit, you know, he feels he's a bit chunky. Now, I'm not saying he's fat, but if Tom wants to lose weight, who am I to stop him? If Tom will feel better about his weight, then, you know, I'm all for helping him. So, how is weight loss work? How does it work? How do you use, use? How do you lose weight? Now, the one important thing to you know, know with weight loss is that your body runs on calories. Calories are the energy your body needs to do everything, to function. Just as a, a TV remote needs, you know, batteries, let's say it needs AA batteries, your body needs calories. Now, the amount that your body needs is subjective to your specific individual person. So like, let's say some TV remotes use double A, some use triple A, some use two batteries, some use one. The human body's the same, your body's the same. So based on how many calories you need, so how much batteries you need, it takes into a, a, a number of factors. You know, how heavy you are already, how tall you are, how small you are. There's a number of different things. Um, but for what I like to tell people, straight off the bat, is try and stick to around 2,000 calories. If you can, if you find it too easy, obviously, go down a bit more. If you find it too hard, go up a bit more. But let's say, Tom, guys, Tom needs 2,000 calories to maintain exactly how he is right now. That weight that Tom's at, that's what, you know, he will, you know, need to function at that level of body fat. That is Tom's level of body fat. Now, how can Tom lose that body fat? simple and it really is simple as long as tom eats under that's meant to be an arrow this amount of calories he will lose weight so let's let's give a bit of a story about tom's day tom had a day guys and it was a really really busy day and he forgot to eat i don't know if you guys are like what the fuck how can someone forget to eat like he was just that busy in this makeshift imaginary ms paint world he forgot to eat when he got home, he ordered his favorite pizza. Now, on this pizza, he has, you know, he has pepperoni. You know, not much, and it wasn't distributed very well, but, you know, he likes it. He had, he's a fucking mental guy, so he had, you know, some anchovies, because this is how anchovies look now. Uh, he had tuna, because tuna's brown. And he had this pizza spent way too long on that pizza then i'm sorry um and the entire entire calories every single thing you consume guys near enough has calories has energy you'll see it on the back of anything has energy um there's a couple of things that obviously don't have it um or have very small amounts um coffee black coffee um doesn't have any but tom's pizza has 1750 calories and that's all he consumed that day 1750 calories he's gonna lose weight because it's under what he needs to maintain if he's eating under his body's like shit oh um you know we're, we're really you know we're dying we're in a what we call well the scientific word is calorie deficit so tom's body's in a calorie deficit so its body literally thinks it's starving to death just because it's had you know under what it needs to function now, let's say on another day, so on another day, Tom is, you know, he's, you know, 
just an average day. And on Tom's average day, this is a bowl. Tom buys weird bowls. You know, don't judge me, it's my drawing, it's Tom's bowl. Has, you know, a lot of green shit, because, you know, we all green's healthy. That is a lot of lettuce. He has some tomatoes in there, not to be mistaken for pepperoni. Uh, he has some sweet corn. And he has a really healthy, you know, really healthy dinner. You know, breakfast, dinner and tea. But his calorie count for that day comes to 2,250. Tom's going to gain weight because he's taken more than his body needs. So he's going to gain weight. Now, to use the analogy, because I used it earlier, so I'm just going to roll with it. The TV remote analogy. You've got a TV remote that takes two batteries to function. You go to your local supermarket and see that batteries are on sale. So you're like, yo, I love a bargain. I'm going to buy some batteries. But you don't need them because your batteries at the moment work fine. So you take, take your batteries out of the packet, put them in the drawer. That's me putting them in the drawer in case anyone was confused by that. And so they're in the drawer. Just the same way that drawer is basically your body and the batteries are your body fat. If you eat over what you're, you need, your body will store it. That's me storing it. I don't know why I'm acting it all out. Uh, your body will store it for when you don't work, for when you need it. So just as you bought batteries that you don't need for a later date, your body stores it as fat for a later date. The irony is, well, it's not irony, but <laughs> the fattest people are the people with the most energy because they've got the most energy stored because their body is storing that energy because it's got no use for it at the moment. So as, as Tom starts eating under his calories, you know, he'll start trimming that. This is me trying to trim the body fat off, that body fat off. And more importantly, guys, Tom turns that brown upside down. Look at that, guys. So just as your body, you know, just as the TV remote needs, you know, batteries, your body needs energy. Now, this is something that's a bit controversial. You can eat whatever, and I mean that, whatever you want, as long as it's under this big <clears throat> calorie goal. So as, as long as you're under, well not this, but as long as you're under your calorie goal, you can eat whatever you want and lose weight. But don't take my word for it. Well, I mean, do. That was a bad transition. This is what I did. This is me, guys. I am. Um, I have a diploma, an online diploma in uh, personal training and fitness. And this is what I did under this diet. So this is me, um, me trying to have big biceps. And literally when I was doing this picture, it looked like I was pooing myself. I looked like I was constipated. So I was like, oh shit. But I really wanted it to put it on the gram. So I put some emojis on. <clears throat> this is a part of this diet. So this was a before and after. And yeah, I just wanted to, I wanted abs guys. I really wanted abs. And this is, this is really important. I am not healthy. When I was doing this diet, you know, when I was shredding my body weight, I wasn't eating healthily. I wasn't, I was eating pizzas. I was eating 30 chicken nuggets. I don't eat one meal a day, so I could still eat the junk food, but I was still under my calories, so I was losing weight. There's a saying, why have abs when you can have kebabs? Now, my philosophy is why not fucking have both? Like, I literally did from that to that on eating kebabs, chicken nuggets, pizza. Same with this. This is in the space of four weeks. Not cutting down on any junk food. Um, and then again, same with here. So with this method, guys, you don't have to sacrifice. You know, if you want a cheeky wine at night, if you're like, I'm partial to, I'm partial, whoa. I'm partial to a bit of whiskey. And so I save calories so I can have whiskey. If you want to do it a healthier way, you know, that that's on you. You can. I'm not saying don't do it healthily. Obviously, do it healthy if you enjoy that. If you want to eat a healthy, balanced diet, do it. We're on about solely fat loss. So if you want to eat under, you know, and do it that way, you can. Now, this is an amazing thing. One thing I love about this method. So, say if Tom, you know, um, he was going really well. Tom's been doing really, really well. And one day, he ate 
1,500 calories. And like that's 500 calories under his goal. The next day, if Tom wanted to, he could eat 2,000, that's meant to be a five, so hard with a mouse. Tom could eat 2,500 because it's on average. So on average, that will be 2,000 a day, which is what Tom's goal is. So Tom can pig out one day and eat, you know, so much food as long as he's got the leftover calories. Now, one thing I would 100% try and advise you to do is take calories from yesterday, don't take calories from tomorrow. And this is literally physically, as you can see me taking them, because so many people go, oh yeah, I'm gonna eat over today, but I'll eat under tomorrow and tomorrow comes and yeah, you guessed it, they don't. So I always say take calories you've got spare from the previous day, not the next day. So that is 100% to kind of bear in mind. Now another thing, I'm just throwing these facts left, right and center. Another thing, the more, the more under that you eat, the quicker you will lose the weight. So let's say, Tom, bless him, he's got an amazing, Tom's got an amazing dress that he's bought. And it's beautiful, guys. This dress Tom's bought is so pretty. But he doesn't quite fit into it. And this, he's got this to do, he's got a wedding. He's got to go to a wedding in a month. And this dress is beautiful and he really wants to fit in it really nice and quick. So what Tom can do, if this is what he wants, to eat 1,500, so which is 500 below his, you know, what he needs to maintain, if he eats 1,500 for, you know, two or three weeks, he will lose that weight a lot quicker. So if you've got a specific event you want to lose the weight for, you can do it so much quicker if you eat a lot under what your body needs, a lot under your, you know, your calorie limit. So at the same time, if what I tend to do, it's not, like I said, it's not healthy. Before I go on holiday, um, so exactly before this picture, I just tanked it. I completely, well not tank, but I completely went under my calorie goal. I was eating like a thousand calories a day um, for, I think I only did it for about two weeks. So I just wanted to shred all my body fat off. That's me shredding it. like shred it all off before my holiday. And then once I finished my holiday, I didn't really care. Didn't really care how I looked. I had my summer holiday, got that summer bod, got the Instagram pictures, and then I just sacked it off. I didn't really care. Um, it was a vain thing, but yeah, you can, the thing that I love about this is you can choose when to apply it. You don't have to do it all the time if you don't want. Um, if you want to maintain you know, this healthy lifestyle, low weight and that image all the time, you can do. But this is this is why I say lifestyle. It's not you're not starting a diet because when you start a diet, if you start something, the idea is to come off something. But if you change your lifestyle, you know it's permanent. You're not starting it because when you start something, it's normally you know if you go on something, you eventually have the idea to come off something. That's why most diets fail. People are like, oh yeah, I've started this diet, and then you know, like, and then as soon as they come off it. They don't know how to maintain it. And this is why this method um, works because it's teaching you the tools that you need. I got taught this by, I had a personal trainer and a nutritionist because uh, my philosophy was, was like, I got to the state where I was going to the gym three times a week uh, for about an hour. So three hours a week, I was in the gym. And the rest of the hours, you know, throughout the week, I wasn't. I wasn't putting any time or effort in. And I was like, well, hold on. That just seems so backwards. Like I'm trying to look good and, you know, change my body for three hours a week so that's when I uh, decided to um, look into getting a nutrition and a diet expert and he taught me this and he said to me which I thought was so you know honest he was like I'm teaching you the tools that you need to you know I don't want you to be able to I don't want you to need me in a month or two months or three months he was like I want to teach you everything so then you never have to pay for my services again so I know I've done a good job so this is what I'm kind of doing with Kinda. This is what I'm trying to do with you guys. I'm teaching you the tools that you need so that you understand fitness, you understand uh, your diet, you understand how you can lose weight and how you can maintain uh, your comfortable weight. 
Now, going into this, shredding it really quickly so Tom can fit in his dress. Tom's finished his, you know, Tom's stopped it. He's had a really, he had a beautiful wedding, guys. He even caught the bouquet. And he pushed the girl out the side. He chinned the girl and caught the bouquet. And then, you know, then he got ushered out of the wedding because she can't do that. But on the same time, like me right now, Christmas is coming up. So um, Christmas is coming up. I'm not trying to lose weight for a specific point or anything specific. I'm just trying to, you know, lose a bit of weight. So although I'm sticking to my goal is, it's not, my goal right now is 1750. I'm not trying to do that quickly. So I'm not trying to rush out, you know, and eat as much under as possible to lose it quick. I'm just comfortable. So I will have whiskey at night time to get me up to 1750. It's like, my philosophy at the moment is I'm not trying to do it for a specific event. So my calories are like my currency. And if I've got currency left over, I'm going to fucking spend it. Like, I'm not going to bed with money in my pocket. I'm not going to bed with calories in my pocket. If it's got to, like, before I go to bed and I've got 100 calories left, you bet I'm getting a Mars bar. Like, if I've got, you know, 20 calories left, I'm going to, like, fucking eat toothpaste. I'm not. So that's, I'm not a kid who eats toothpaste. I can't believe I've just said that. I don't eat toothpaste. Um, but, you know, I'm... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to treat myself. I'm not trying to do it for a specific event. I just want to lose a bit of weight and get them abs. So, you know, I will I will spend my currency. But for those who are wanting to lose it fast, you know, you can do. As much as you eat under, the quicker you will lose weight. So, back to the, um, back to the you know, the analogy of gaining weight. If you're buying batteries for your TV remote, quicker than you can use them, you know, your drawers is going to get full of batteries and full of batteries and full of batteries. And if you're, you know, using them quicker than you can buy them, you'll have no batteries in your drawer. So that's your body fat. So one thing I really want to point out that's so unfair, so un let's, let's clean all this off. <coughs> so unfair is you cannot target fat loss. Tom's had a bit of a bad stretch, guys. He's got a bit of a tump. You know, this is... He's not pregnant, but he's got a bit of a tum. And Tom's like, I know, I want to start trying to get rid of, you know, my tummy fat. Or if he's got, you know, some bingo wings, you know, if he wants to lose them. So Tom's Tom sat there, he's like, you know what I can do? I'm gonna, you know, start doing some sit-ups so he can lose his body fat. But guys, this is a crew on it, let's give. I feel bad I made him put a hat on him. Wait, you can't. You can't be sad and wearing a hat, can you? Just, who wears a top hat and is sad? No one's putting a top hat on and then being sad about it. You just won't put it on. Why have I just gone into that? So Tom's trying to do some sit-ups to lose his tum fat. You can't. It is impossible. Not the sit-ups. I'm not, well, you know, I'm not shaming Tom. You cannot target fat loss. There's nothing you can do to target fat loss. If I do more sit-ups to try and cut off this tummy fat, it won't work. If I start trying to get rid of some bingo wings and start, you know, I'll do this with some heavy weights, you can't do it. Your body stores fat wherever your body chooses to store fat. It's, you know, it's different for everyone. For this unfortunate girl, she's, you know, she's got a lot of body fat up here. I, God, I hope this is body fat. Because if not, I'm just taking, I'm not. I'm pointing out this girl's, you know, if it's a medical issue, I feel really bad. Uh, but I've kind of delved in deep now. So, yeah, this girl's frown town with body fat there, you know, as, as I'm assuming this is a chin. And same with a friend. Like, I'm not fat shaming. They can live their life. How, if they're happy, you know, I'm happy for them. Um, but I'm just trying to illustrate that, you know, body fat can store anywhere. So she might lose body fat off her legs, off her tummy, off her arms before she loses that chin she's got, or whatever this is. I think it's a forehead, maybe a five head. That was a bad joke, I'm sorry. But yeah, you can't target fat loss. It just doesn't work. So one thing to bear in mind is, no matter how many sit-ups and crunches you're doing, you can't target fat loss. It just doesn't work. However, if you want abs, sit-ups will make your abdominal muscles um, protrude a bit more. So it'll help that way. But as targeting fat loss, if you're trying to, you know, burn tummy fat, so you're doing sit-ups and crunches, it'll give you a stronger core, but it won't burn the body fat. It won't burn the calories. 
you'll still have a tummy no matter how many sit-ups you do and obviously it'll help to lose weight because you will burn calories but not necessarily your tum tum calories you might you could have really fat feet but you might lose weight off your feet um feet or whatever feet just sounds cool doesn't it feet just say it's fun feet i can't believe i'm getting sidetracked right but one thing to bear in mind also guys i'm getting comfy on this chair if you're wanting you know tom's you know he shredded it tom's been doing really fucking well and when to keep with the continuity tom's now got a hat he's bought a hat he's feeling great he's lost all this body weight and you know tom's wanting to get swole tom's wanting to get these big buys to save lives tom's wanting to get you know judy dench tom's wanting to get ripped he's wanting to get swole he's bulking up for winter so how can tom lose weight if he still wants to and get muscular at the same time so kind of like i did here i lost quite a lot of weight on my tum uh, but i also you know gained you know i gained muscle mass so we're fucking rolling with it if i bought a new tv a bigger this is a tv in case you didn't know tv which came with a bigger remote this remote might need four batteries so i'm putting four batteries in this remote now because it's a bigger tv which requires a bigger moat a moat remote that needs you know more batteries there's no batteries in the drawer i'm still using the batteries so in this analogy if tom's getting stronger and tom's muscles getting bigger he will need more calories so it, he's still not you know his body's still not storing it as fat but you know tom's needing tom's getting bigger muscles he will gradually over and over start needing more calories to you know support the muscle growth but and this is a key thing so tom's original goal was 2000 we all know tom's goal so tom starts trying to gain muscle mass and he starts eating 2500 that's okay that might be fine but if tom starts to notice he's getting a bit of body fat he's losing he's going from this back to this he's going from this back to this he might be getting biceps so these might be growing but he might be gaining more body fat so he's getting a bit chubbier so what he would do then guys is just you know cut it again go back down to say 1750 or 2000 lose it and then he can build it up gradually again he won't lose his muscles unless he doesn't eat enough protein now protein is a really 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 important factor with gaining muscle mass and gaining muscle protein helps build muscle protein helps you know it really really does help and if your body especially if you're trying to gain muscle mass while on a calorie deficit you need protein because your body because like i said it thinks it's dying it thinks it's starving so your body's going to try and take whatever it, this is your body taking whatever it can your body's going to try and take whatever it can and you don't want your body trying to get nutrients and energy from your muscles you don't want your body to start eating away this is your body like eating away i don't know why i'm doing it but eating away at your muscles your biceps your legs your you know your triceps or anything to give it calories so what protein does is it's the bouncer at the door when your little your little body's like can i have some you know can i have some energy your protein's like nah mate fuck off go look for it somewhere else your protein is there to make sure your muscles stay big and strong you know like petit flu helps bone grow stronger your protein helps your muscles grow and maintain the size they are so i think that's near enough it guys like i've, I've kind of just nailed this in my opinion for the third time and if it's not recorded i will end up crying um just the things to bear in mind is i'm not telling you this because you know i want you to start this fad diet or this that this that i just you know if, if someone out there watches this video and it helps them you know gain 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 motivation and lose a bit of the body fat they didn't like you know if it helps them lose a kilogram a fucking a pound if it helps them lose anything and makes them feel better then to me this video is worth it i'm not here trying to oh wait shit i forgot a really important bit i don't know if i said oh this is this is horrible i don't know if i've forgotten this if i've said it in this video 
or I said it like two or three videos back because I've done three videos so I don't know what I've said but if I've said it I will cut the video out here if I've not said it I will keep talking so by the guy by this time guys I'm assuming I've not mentioned this yet and I'm gonna talk about this now how you can monitor your calorie count like how are you gonna know one thing that I use and I really really think is amazing is my fitness pal I'm not sponsored by them or anything it's just a really good way to track your calories throughout the day so people don't realize and this is what's really crucial if you want to there's two ways of doing this there's doing it really thorough and making sure anything that goes in your mouth you put on the app so you know how many calories you're eating in a day or you can take a more laid back approach where you look at the back of the packet and try and estimate and you know oh, i'm over i'm under but i would highly recommend doing it the other way like being thorough because oil in a pan is calories i used 400 calories worth of a shot glass of oil near enough it was about two or three hundred calories a cup of tea if you have it with milk and sugar for those who love cups of tea that can be 100 calories or 90 calories per drink so if you're having like a big fry up or not a big fry up, if you're putting you know chicken in a pan uh, with a fair bit of oil and then you're having some cups of tea that could easily come up to six or seven hundred calories just throughout your drinks butter on a sandwich or on toast if you're like using a lot of butter that can be a hundred calories here 100 calories there people don't realize how many calories are in certain things so with olive oil cups of tea and butter you could be easy you know at your limit or half your limit you can eat a thousand calories in bread and butter easy and like cups of tea so one thing to bear in mind guys is look at how much you're eating and be thorough anything that goes in your mouth you know track it because i have a lot of people say to me like oh you know I, I was doing really well and i don't understand why i'm not losing weight i'm like well did you have a mars bar and you didn't put it on or how much did you weigh your butter out because people don't realize how much like yes it is at the start like you're saying fucking hell you're telling me to weigh my butter you're telling me to measure how much oil i'm putting in a pan if you want immediate results and you want to do it really well yeah but you know if you want to take a more relaxed approach i'm not saying you you know i have to but this is the method like it does become second nature um i don't really find it that much of a problem oh my god i remembered something else i missed as well weighing so how a lot of people measure their but oh my god i can't believe i nearly ended the video how a lot of people measure their body weight and whether they're you know staying on track for you know weight loss and everything is through weighing scales which obviously you know some people use just take progress pictures some people like to actually get data and track their individual body weight now a main thing to really 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 bear in mind is your weight fluctuates so fucking much like it's unreal a woman on her period will you know gain sometimes up to two or three kilograms just because she's on a period if you drink a lot of water water retention and how well you keep water in your body and everything will matter about your body weight whether you've had a poop or not that affects your body weight so like an example for me guys i once weighed myself before i went to bed literally the i went for a wee before bed and I, I had my scales in the bathroom i weighed myself when i woke up i was two kilograms lighter two kg lighter from you know just sleeping i'd not had my morning poop i was just sleeping the next day or a couple of days it's not the next day but for story purposes another example is i weighed myself in the morning i weighed myself at night and i gained three kilograms of weight throughout the day because you know there's a number of facts it could be i could have had a day where I'd, i can't remember but i drank a lot i could have had a day where i ate a lot i could have had a day where i wasn't pooping like so one thing i would 100 percent say is if you're doing this and you want to use um scales which you know you, you i use scales so why would you not want to be consistent when you weigh yourself and weigh yourself often and you will get an average don't take the last weight you took and like oh that's how much i weigh no like like i said it to weigh yourself often i don't mean like three or four times a day but f make it around the same time so i always weigh myself now 
and I have done for a while, after my morning poo. I will wake up, you know, when I've had my morning poo, I'll weigh myself. So I know it's consistent. Like, I tend to, you know, poop around the same time after I wake up, so then I'll weigh myself. Make sure you're consistent, because, and make sure you do it often. Because I had a friend who uh, was doing this, and I told them everything, they were doing really well, and they weighed their self bi-weekly, so every other week they weighed themselves. I think that means every other week, I'm not quite sure. I just said it because it sounded cool. Um, and they'd not lost as much as they wanted to, and on one occasion, they weighed more. And I told them, I went, just weigh yourself the next day. And they're like, no, what's the point? Blah, 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 blah. They weighed themselves the next day, and they lost so much. I think they lost about three or four kilograms. Um, Because it just matters on, you know, there's a lot of different factors. I don't know why he would have been above when he did, but there's so many factors that could have come into it. So one thing to take away, don't get disheartened. Weigh yourself often and around about the same time, because then you'll get an average, this is the symbol for average now, you'll get an average body weight as opposed to, you know, taking the last number. Um, I personally um, have some wet smart scales and they track my body weight and my body fat. So I can just look on the calendar on the app of how much I weighed when and I get kind of a rough figure. So uh, if I'm starting to be a bit above, you know, I just cut them calories down. If I'm, you know, if I'm all right, I start to cut calories. Well, not cut calories up. That doesn't fucking make sense. I start to, you know, eat a bit more to, you know, gain a bit of muscle mass type of thing. So, yeah, it's really important to be thorough. If, if you want this to work, be thorough. Um, if you want really good results, be thorough. Um, and this is what I love about this. And I, I won't shut up about it. My friend hates it. Um, that I talk about this because it's like, oh, that method won't work for everyone. Technically, it will. Like, <laughs> technically, this method will work for everyone. You eat under. Oh, I'm being rang. Oh, I'm gonna have to ignore it. Oh, mid video, mid video. Um, I'll leave it and I'll get told off for ignoring it. Oh shit, it might be important. Ah, ah. I'll leave it. I'm nearly done the video. Shit. Okay, so with this method, guys you will lose weight. It is factually proven to lose weight. Um, if you're not, just think about the steps I said, if you like too much butter on a toast or things like that. But one thing to bear in mind, guys, that I'm not telling you what you can and can't eat. This diet isn't telling you what to eat this, to eat that. This is a sin food. This is a nice food. Eat as much of this as you want. No, if you eat as much as anything as you want, you will gain weight. Like you can't eat unlimited food and be expect to be under no foods a sin food no food is a good well there's a good food like there's a healthy food but in terms of weight loss eat anything you want under anything you want like i kind of pride myself on eating a kebab and losing weight like, i fucking love that um so yeah if you take this away you it's a tool it's a tool you can use as and when you want it um you might be building something so you need to use your hammer and nails all the time and if you're not building something, you know, use your hammer whenever you want. So, yeah, I hope you, I've got to take that call now. But guys, I hope you have a really, really, really fucking good day. Um, and remember to like and subscribe and all that shit.